is the pad pod dolly ready to go as it would uh, travel in your camera bag. Um, the first thing to do to turn it into a dolly is to take off the spacer and remove the bearings. These, they are quite a firm fit, they are 15mm bearings and 15mm spacers so the best way I've found is just to use one of the axles to help you and uh, there's a fingernail under the edge and pull the bearings out. Yeah, obviously you could use um, different size bearings, um, larger or smaller, they won't, well not too much smaller, you can't be smaller than 10 but they could be larger, obviously only 15s will fit in the spacer. Um, but you could uh, could use larger ones that uh, also have a six millimeter shaft size um, axle size. So the, uh, the first one's in there, and we just take out the bolts from their travel storage um, positions, and um, put a bearing onto each one, and then put them back in in their axle positions, which is just the opposite end of the storage position. I've made the bolts quite long because they come in handy for other configurations of the pad pod dolly. So it's a lot of uh, screwing to get the uh, to get the bearing um, up against the edge of the pad pod dolly. So I'll just uh, speed the video up a bit there, just to uh, make it a little less boring, perhaps. Um, and then just uh, put the last one in. Now you could put nuts on there to keep the bearings in the same place, but um, just try to make it as simple as possible and uh, and it works with them um, floating along the shafts anyway so by then adding your tripod head you're ready to go with a, a linear dolly obviously it's only of use on on very smooth surfaces with such small bearings but any um, skateboard or s skate wheel with a six mil shaft could uh, could be put on there obviously not too large because they would touch in the middle but uh, uh, that, that is a possibility. More more stuff to carry, but yeah. Now here we put the uh, put the two two of the other shafts on at the ends. Then it becomes a circular panning dolly. I'm not sure that's a, actually a thing, but um, it's just a, a different way of using it. use it as a, just a flat pad pod obviously all you need to do is remove the, the bearings you've got a small stable platform if you want a slightly larger or more stable platform um, you just screw in the bolts as sort of outriggers and that gives you a bit more uh, stability um, then if you want to use it on uh, uneven surfaces you put the bolts in through the vertical uh, holes and uh, adjust to make the pad stable there you go. thank you for watching